Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Investments and Refreshments. My name is JT, and today we're going to be talking about Neo. While we talk about that, I'm going to be drinking this Honey Citrus Blonde from the Community Beer Company. It is a blonde ale with honey and orange peel. Community Beer. Beer for the greater good. Community Beer Company, proudly brewed in Dallas, Texas. If you want more information about Community Beer, go to communitybeer.com. This is not a sponsor. I will be reviewing this beer at the end of the video, so if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Otherwise, let's start talking about NEO. NEO was founded in November of 2014 by William Lee. So NEO is an automobile manufacturer from China. They specialize in electric vehicles, and they have been dubbed the Tesla of China. What sets NEO apart from their competitors is that they offer a few different services that their competitors do not. A unique service that NEO offers is called Battery as a Service, or BAAS which allows for customers to purchase their vehicle without a battery, which allows for up to 20% to be discounted off the overall price of the car. Then you will just pay a monthly fee to use NEO-owned batteries to power your vehicle. You can pay a premium at any time to upgrade your battery if you would like to do so. Also, you are entitled to battery swapping, which is really interesting because even on Tesla's supercharging technology, it takes about 75 minutes to charge your battery until it's full. But with battery swapping, you just pull into the battery swapping station and you can be out and back on the road in as little as five minutes. Having the ability to swap batteries efficiently also future-proofs your vehicle for any battery upgrades that become available down the line. Again, this is a service that isn't necessarily offered by some of the other competitors in the EV space. So this is just another way that NEO is kind of setting itself apart. Something else to remember about NEO is that they are doing their best to not just be viewed as an EV manufacturer. They want to be seen as a brand a la Apple or Google. And they do this by offering some other perks that you might not get with, say, Tesla, one of those being Neo House. So with Neo House, if you are a Neo customer, then you have access to these clubs and you can go hang out with other Neo customers. I believe in some of them you can bring guests and it's just a cool place to kind of chill and, you know, read a book or just, you know, throw back a couple beers, I guess. And uh, a lot of them do offer alcoholic beverages. So that's that's something interesting that Neo is offering. So there's another service that Neo offers that goes back to them attempting to establish themselves as a brand over just being seen as a, another automobile manufacturer. And that is called Neo Life. So you can see on the Neo app that Neo is selling. They've got candies, they've got home goods, they have all sorts of goodies on their app and it looks really nice and again, they want to be seen as a brand and not an automobile manufacturer. You can find all sorts of stuff on here. They've got clothes. So something interesting that Neo Life is doing is they are taking some of the materials that didn't get used through the auto manufacturing process and recycling them into clothing. And on the app here, you can see that the clothing actually looks really cool, in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion, but I think that that's awesome. All of these reasons are why I am so bullish on Neo. I believe in Neo as a brand. I believe that they have a clear vision and I love the way that their cars look. So just over the past month, Neo has hit highs of $63 and they have fallen recently over the past two weeks down to $45, $46. Neo currently has a market cap of $71.3 billion. So on money.cnn.com, we can see that 19 analysts are offering a 12 month price forecast for NEO with a median target of $68.72, a high estimate of $100.20, and a low estimate of $14.91. So as we can see, there is 
a lot of upside potential and potentially some downside as well. In my opinion, just based on looking at the cars themselves, looking at the services that NEO offers, I am bullish on the company. I believe in the vision behind the company. I believe that in order to invest with conviction and buy the dips, you need to invest, you need to find companies that you truly do believe in. And otherwise, whenever the company goes down, you're going to panic sell. And I have found myself in that boat as well. That's a common beginner mistake whenever you're first starting to get into investing. Now we're taking a look at Neo's EC6. It is a mid-size SUV with five doors, five seats, and it has been in production since 2020. Now we're taking a look at Neo's ES6. It is also a mid-size SUV. It has five doors and seats five, and it has been in production since 2019. Now we're taking a look at Neo's ES8. It is a full-size SUV with five doors and it seats six. It has been in production since 2018. Now what I want to touch upon is the interior of these cars. The interior of these cars is very sleek and spacious. Something that Tesla had neglected to pay attention to was that if they are going to create a luxury car in China, many of their customers will not be the ones that are actually driving the cars and their customer will probably be sitting in the back seat and have a driver driving them around. Neo knew this and they made the back seat a lot more spacious than what you would see in a Tesla. Many customers have raved about that choice. And while looking at the dash, you'll notice this assistant named Nomi. Nomi works kind of like an Alexa, if many of you have Alexas at home. So she basically, you can tell her to roll down the windows, you can tell her to turn up the heat, you can ask her to put something on the GPS, ask her the quickest way to get somewhere, all of those things, things that you might want to do without having to take your hands off the steering wheel and try and mess around with all of these buttons. It's very convenient to have something like this, and whenever you're talking about a luxury car like this, I believe that it is nice to have some extra features. Again, I think that that's another great feature that kind of sets Neo apart from some of their competitors. Something else that Neo is offering that I believe is really interesting is forward-facing LiDAR technology. And the way that they're planning on doing it is beautiful. They have created kind of a notch in their windshield where you can see kind of the lidar at the front of the vehicle and it basically allows for a bit more efficient and effective autonomous capabilities in the future and also the ability to notify you whenever you're getting too close to someone whenever somebody's coming into your lane so it it provides a lot of benefit by having this technology in their cars when should you buy neo i'm gonna set these three price targets as to when we want to buy and i'm gonna start by saying this if neo is at around 45 dollars whenever the market opens on Monday, I am going to be buying more Neo. If it goes down to $40, I am going to buy more Neo. And if it goes down to $35, uh, if it goes down to $37, I am going to buy even more Neo. I think that right now for the product that they're creating, the services that they are offering, the brand that they are building. 
I believe that there is the likelihood of them hitting that $100 price target by the end of the year is much greater than them hitting that $14 uh, forecast that some of the analysts said. Now I am going to rate NEO as to whether I believe that it's a buy, a hold, or a sell. If NEO goes back to, say, $63, I would say let's just hold and it's kind of volatile. You know, the EV sector is kind of volatile, so let's see if it goes back down and we can get another great entry point. Since it's down so low, I would strongly recommend to buy. Again, this is not financial advice. These are just my opinions. I'm just some guy who's drinking a beer talking about stocks. But I am definitely going to be investing on Monday. And I would recommend that you guys do your due diligence and make a decision for yourself. My price target for NEO by the end of the year is going to be $90. I believe that NEO has the legs to stand on. And I believe that as more people are adopting electric vehicles and the autonomous technology that NEO is trying to put into their vehicles, I believe that their share price will continue to rise and people will start to view NEO as a true competitor to Tesla. The thing about NEO also is that the Chinese government is likely to back an EV manufacturer that is China based. So if they're going to devote some funding to a company, I would expect that that is probably going to go to Xping or NEO or both uh, versus Tesla. So I believe that they will have some deep pockets as well as they get supported by the Chinese government. All right, now that I've given my price target and I've told you that I believe that NEO at its current share price is a strong buy, now I'm gonna review this beer. Okay, so the Honey Citrus Blonde from the Community Beer Company, I can appreciate the sweetness of the honey, the juiciness of the citrus. It's very smooth. It leans a little bit more to the sweet side than the bittery side, and I can appreciate that. Uh, you can still you still feel some of the hops in there as well. It is very drinkable. You could drink a few of these. Again, with that 6% ABV, it will probably creep up on you if you drink too many of them. I would give this beer a 4.6 out of 5. It is delicious and I will be buying more of these. It's incredibly smooth and I've really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope some of what I said helps you guys make some informed investing decisions. Again, this is not financial advice. Before putting money into anything, I recommend doing your own research, your own due diligence, and making your own decisions based on what you truly do believe in. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe. If you want more content like this, please hit the post notification bell icon. Then you'll just get notified whenever I post videos in the future. And if you have any ideas or recommendations for stocks that you want me to talk about, beers that you want me to try, please leave those comments down in the comment section below, and I will do my best to get to all of those. Thank you guys so much and good luck in your investments. Remember to invest responsibly and only drink responsibly. Thanks so much. If you are interested in learning more about Neo or seeing what the cars truly do look like, one YouTuber that I would recommend is Mr. P. He creates videos where he just talks about Neo news and shares his experience as a customer also, if you want to learn more about NEO and stay up to date on news related to the company, check out their subreddit. People are posting there regularly, and they currently have 24,000 members.